Hello everybody, I'm Gavin. I'm a Zorwark wizard and welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Black Person. Last episode, we got to the champion, but found out he was defeated by N. Just to show there's nothing over here if you were to walk, there's a bunch of Team Plasma banners. It's kind of weird how going up to the final floor of N's castle, there's a bunch of Team Plasma banners. As you can see on the lower floors, uh, they're not really present. But then again, there's just a bunch of like rooms down here. Alright, are you ready for this? Because this is the final battle. That's right, everything is determined right here. This the grand finale. And boy, does it feel grand. Alright. I'm going to check my party real quick. Make sure I have something in the front that I'm willing to use for this first part of the final battle. And then we'll change it up, so I'll see you guys in a second. That didn't take too long, I just pretty much checked my party and I just wanted to make sure that Akuja was in front. Not for any real reason, but it, honestly, in retrospect, he's like the only person I can really think of. Only Pokemon or only party member I can think of that I really could be useful right now. At least the first part of this fight. Yo, what's up? It's Getsis. Oh, that's me, the Hole of the Lightstone. The castle has appeared as it were developing the Pokemon League. It is a symbol. It means Nova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He is accompanied by legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. And that is all, his heart burns desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now, the stage is set. We can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring, we can bring into being the world that I know that Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We, and only we will use Pokemon. And we shall rule the world powerless, populous. I've been waiting for that so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned. And now those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Alright, I'll prove you wrong. Anything else you say? No, he's just basically like, okay, go in. This is it. Once you go through here... It is pretty much the final battle. There will be no times to heal. So make sure you are fully healed going into this. Make sure you're equipped well. Make sure you're ready for this. Make sure you have revives, hyper potions, full restores, whatever the fuck you need. Because, uh, unlike the Elite Four, where after you beat one, you can just go on to the next. You have an in-between period where you can heal. This is not going to be like that. So let's just go on for Let's go on, because, you know, I'm ready for this. All right, and there he is, and himself. With desire for a world of Pokemon, and Pokemon alone, I will separate Pokemon from people, so Pokemon can retain their original power. It is time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs, if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you're equally determined. If so, prove it to me! Show me the depth of your determination. Can we still turn back? Oh, we can still. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we can still turn back. I was just curious. I thought actually after that cutscene, you, everything was automated. You came all this way to battle me, but Reseram is not responding. You haven't yet recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Though many are many battles, I got the feeling that you might be the trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me, you can't win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Second problem, come to me!
Zekrom and Reseram. They were once one life, one Pokemon. Complete opposites, but the same. Zekrom and Reseram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. Ah, I see. You really are a hero, too. I'll tell you what that Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test to see if you really are pursuing the truth. I, also, am curious to see how powerful you are. Now, catch Reseram. Make it your ally. Alright, last chance, this is literally after this, the point of no return, and you will have, you will have to fight three fights non-stop, back to back. I don't even think you can run away from this, I think yeah, you can just in case you need Pokeballs, but I'm ready for this. Reseram. Reseram is level 50. He has the moves Fusion Flare. Extra sensory, slash dragon breath. He is genderless. He is genderless! <laughs> Games of the gender. I'm just beautiful, mate. Just beautiful. Alright. So, Rexorim has some pretty powerful base stats, too. 100 HP, 120 attack, 100 defense, 150 special attack, 120 special defense, and 90 speed, so. Damn. Rexorim is a beast. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys about that. He is strong. And normally, I would fight Ram. Normally. There's probably some people that are going to get pissed at me about this. You know what? No. We'll not use the Master Ball like my original plan was. We will actually fight him. Just for the hell of it. I normally use the Master Ball right here. Because honestly, this is the best point to use it, I feel. But oh well, we'll fight him actually. Now, I believe, and this is something I actually have not tested, so don't take my word on it. If you do kill Restoram here, it's not a big deal. The game will not progress until you actually catch the legendary of your game, whether it be Restoram or Zekrom. And by the way, you'd be fighting Zekrom here with Pokemon White, just to point that out. Now, I don't know about if you kill Restoram. You have to actually, like, fight it again and actually, you have to basically keep on catching it. That's something I'm not actually 100% sure on. This is basically what I've read on, what I've researched, and whatnot. And that's what it said. I've never actually tested it myself. I am so tempted to, but at the same time, I don't want that to happen. If it happens right here, fine. But I don't actually want to kill Restoram <laughs> if I can avoid it. And there you go, Kuja, you're dead. Alright, who am I switching out to? Um, just got to the charmed. All right, charmed. What do you got for me? Actually, no, I used Thunder Wave. But that's pretty much all I really want you to do for it. Now, one reason why I do like using the Master Ball. Actually, no, I'm not gonna say why yet, because that's technically, I guess, a spoiler. So I'm gonna try to use catching any heal ball. Actually, might as well. Actually, now that I think about it, I think you are fully healed after this fight anyways. So I think this is a waste. I'm gonna actually try to catch it in the heal ball, just for the hell of it. Just so I can fully heal it, just in case, because I am paranoid. Because like I said, after this, you are going to be thrown into the fight with Ed. That is not a spoiler. But I don't know if he... I think he does fully heal you, though. But I don't really remember as well. You know what, let's use an Ultra Ball, fuck it. What do we got? Catch him? Now, if this takes too long, I am using the Master Ball, because fuck it. Wow, I was like, if this takes too long, I'm gonna use the Master Ball! But Restoram was caught. So, you're probably like, alright, you gotta use him for the final fight, and that's it, right? Yeah, normally, yes. I would use Restoram for the final fight, and that's it. But then I actually thought to myself, It'd be kind of weird if I just swapped out a Pokemon for Restoram. 
So, I decided, and some people actually may not like this decision. <laughs> Restoram is the sixth Pokemon I'm going to be using. Some people might find this really cheap. I honestly don't give a shit. A lot of people don't use Legendaries, and I feel this is like one of the two only games where I would actually use a Legendary in-game. Not just because of plot significance, but just because it's kind of, I don't know, I like Restoram how he looks in general. So, there we go. Restoram is the last party member. That is literally the reason why, for the longest time, I had only five Pokemon. I was gonna catch a six, and I had a couple ideas, but I was like, no, I'll have to swap it out for Restoram, and then it'd be awkward. So I was like, you know what, Restoram, you're the sixth party member. So we're not gonna give him a nickname. In fact, we're just gonna fight and. Ah, I see. Restoram, who is said to lend its power to the hero who seeks for the truth has recognized your power, and now agrees to stand by your side. Hold on, your Pokemon are hurt. Okay, he does heal you. <laughs> he does heal you. I was paranoid about that. That's good to know. Now, I will create a future I desire. I shall sweep you before me! Alright, we gotta fight N. For the last time. And holy shit, does he have, like, amazing battle music. Like just, we're just going to listen to this for a bit. Now, if you actually do catch Restoran and use him on your team, this is going to be the coolest part of this fight, I think. You will actually send him out first, and you will literally fight a Legendary with a Legendary. I I'm sorry, guys. I think that's probably the most badass thing about this whole fight. And that was, like, the main reason why I'm like, well, I don't want to get rid of Restoran. <laughs> I want to use him. Just for this. Alright, and here. And Pokemon White, who would be using Reshiram here with the same moves. Except, oh wait, it would be Extra Sensory, Hyper Beam, Reflective, Fuse, and Fair. And here, in Pokemon Black, is using Sekrom with the ability Terra Bolt. Which I think is just. Not, it doesn't absorb uh, Thunder Moves. What does it do? I'll look it up right now. Has the attacks Zen Headbutt, Giga Impact, Light Screen, and Fusion Bolt. Terra Bolt. Um, it can attack an opponent regardless of their ability. So it basically annoys, ignores attack, ignores abilities like Big Pecs, Clear Body, Contrary, Damp, Dry Skin, Filter, Levitate, all those moves. Like, holy shit, there's a, I, I'm on Cerebi right now. They have like a huge list of moves that this thing is immune to, so that. All right, let's fight Dragon with Dragon. We have a lot of moves at our disposal, and it's actually pretty badass. I'm going to use Fusion Flare, because that's Rexoram's signature move here. As he uses Fusion Bolt. Also, Fusion Bolt and Fusion Flare have the coolest animations in the whole game. I just love it. Like the canning of the 3D camera and everything. Well, I guess it's kind of a 3D camera. Do you really think you can stop us with that? Not really. That's why I have Dragon Breath, because you're weak to that. He has Light Screen, and I don't actually have Reflect. Now, it's funny that um, Rexrim has Reflect when you fight him in Pokemon Black. I just think it's kind of weird, actually. I wonder if that's supposed to be because um, Rexrim has a weaker defense stat to make up for it, and Zekrom doesn't. Like, Zekrom has a higher defense stat, so it has Light Screen to protect itself against that. Either way... Oh, he's going to use a full restore, I was going to say. I'm going to kill him off with Flash. And has four full restores. That is something else to keep in mind. He has the... He, he uses more full restores than the Elite Four. Which I find actually very crazy. I don't know. At least I think it's crazy. I also find it funny that, uh... Earlier, I didn't point this out, but Fusion Flare is not very effective against Sephiroth. And I don't think, uh... Fusion Bolt is not... Is effective against Reshiram. Which is just kind of interesting. Wow, I actually let Restoram die. I kind of feel bad. Oh well, let's go in with uh, Nimbus there. And kill him with the uh, Ice Beam. So... Let's do that. And let's hit kill him. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what Pokemon is he setting up next? Alright. He's setting up... King Clang. Pink Clank, Steel, has the ability Plus, which is completely useless in single battles. Has the attacks Thunderbolt, Blast Cannon, Hyper Beam, and Metal Sound. Now, 
there's something I want to note about N. Here, it says it is King Clang. Be careful. While one of his Pokemon may not be what it seems, he actually has a Zoroark on his team. And holy shit, it can be any of his Pokemon that is not Sekrom or Reseram. So, just be careful about that. Keep that in mind when selecting your Pokemon. So, um, we're gonna go with, um... I'm trying to think who. We'll go with Charmed, because I might as well. Alright, what do we got? Keep playing, alright. Let's go for the Thunder Wave. Might as well. Just to kind of debuff it a bit. So I can get uh, my uh, wild charge going. There. There you go. Do a wild charge. Do it once. Might as well get my speed up a little bit. I don't really think I would really need it with Charm, but you know, just in case. He was not very effective. I called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> just, I knew! I knew it! I don't know. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> Because the reason why I thought it was going to be Zoroark because I had Nimbus out. Nimbus is ice. His Zoroark has Flamethrower. That's why. I knew it. I fucking called it. <laughs> oh my god. You don't know how great that feels. Alright, anyways. His Zoroark, level 50, has the ability of losing. As you can see, you already see what it does. I use Zoroark all the goddamn time. Has the attacks Night Slash, Flamethrower, Focus Blast, and Retaliate. It's actually pretty strong. I fucking called it. I called it. <laughs> Glad I swapped out Nimbus. Well, even then I would have swapped him out because uh, Nimbus is weak against Steel. Oh shit. Now he's actually gonna send out the real King Clang. I already said it's Vio, so you know I don't need to repeat that. So let's just use Flame Charge, and hopefully we'll kill it. We didn't though, and we're dead the end. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I'm trying to think of what I should send out next. Um, let's go with Ryan. Ryan Ryan's gonna have some time here. He's gonna have some screen time. Oh god, that was that was that was terrible. I'm not even gonna defend myself there. That was terrible. Let's set up a stealth rock. Metal sound. Ugh. I already have a low special defense as it is. Alright, at least I got the stealth rocks out. Um, let's use Bulldoze. I think that'll be good against him. That's gonna kill me, actually. Forget what I'm saying. No, I got Sturdy. He got Sturdy on my side. So we're gonna Bulldoze him, which he's weak to. And I'll also lower his speed a bit. I wanna heal. But I don't want to be stuck in like this loop where I keep healing on a sturdy. So you know what? I'm just gonna bulldoze him again. Okay, he still was faster. Damn, I thought I would be. I thought I'd be a little bit faster than him, but oh well. Then again, uh, Gigalith really does. He's really slow. All right, let's uh, let's swap into. I think actually, we'll go back into. We'll go to Terra actually. That's what we'll do. We'll leaf blade him, which uh, hopefully will kill him. Oh, it does! Awesome. I still can't get over that I called that Zora work. I had a feeling, whatever. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla Lixu. I don't even know how to say that. No Lixu, vanilla, vanilla Lex, Alexu. Whatever. It's level 50. Has the ability Ice Body, which means it heals itself in hail. Has the attacks Frost Breath. Blizzard, Hail, and Flash Cannon. Oh my god, it's ice cream against ice cream. Um, we're gonna go with a mirror shot. I kind of wish I had a Flash Cannon. Oh, it knows Hail? Huh. I wow, I kind of feel like a dumbass. I think I just read the bio and I didn't realize it. Oh well, I made a mistake. Not a big deal. Don't I also have Ice Body? Well, it doesn't really matter anyways because, well... I didn't really get hit yet. I mean, now I did. Come on, don't die. Yeah, 69 Ancients, what is it with this fucking Pokemon in 69? That's fucking special attack stat from earlier, and now it's HP. Oh my 
like, uh, just, I'm just noticing all the 69s in this Let's Play. Oh, we also have Ice Buddy. Killer. Caracosta! Hopefully I said that right. Border Rock has the ability Sturdy, which basically means it can't be one-sided. Has the attacks Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Stone Edge, and Crunch. Uh, we're switching out into Terra, because I don't want to deal with that. Alright, let's go. Caracosta. Uh, let's see, let's see, yeah, let's just see them. Probably not the best idea. I probably could have killed them really played, but, uh, oh well. But that'll negate the hail, and it'll also heal me back. So it's not too, I guess, dumb, per se. I don't think a leaf blade's going to kill him, but you know what? I'll do some damage to him. Or I can kill him! Hey, whatever works. Archihops! Archihops? Archiops. I think the last one was it. Rock flying with the ability to beat us, which is the funniest ability in the game, I think. Basically, when it gets half an HP, all its stats get lowered. <laughs> I just think that's the stupidly funny ability. As he attacks Dragon Claw, Acrobatic, Stone Edge, and Crunch. Um, let's switch out into. I'm trying to think here, because I don't really. You know what? We'll stick in. I don't really have the best counter against this guy, to be completely honest. My last friend, please share your courage with me. Let's go for the Leech Seed, because I don't trust this guy at all. Yeah, that's going to kill me, isn't it? Saw that coming. I did. At least I got Leech Seed on him, though. That makes me happy. He's probably going to use Stone Edge on me. He probably is. But I don't care, because... Um, I'm trying to think if I should use Ice Beam or Mirror Sock. Because he is part rock, so... He would probably be weak to uh, Mirror Shot. But then again, I don't, I probably I probably want the stab from Ice Beam. You know, let's go with Ice Beam. Even though I think in retrospect, Mirror Shot might have been better. No, he's weak to Ice, still. Even though he's part rock, I didn't realize that. And there we have it. And is defeated. Everything is ruined. The ideals I had, the Pokemon I had, and the dreams and everything. Sekiro and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. Restaurant, Sekiro, each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time. One that pursues truth, and one that pursues ideals. They both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting different ideas, but accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. And it's truly the formula of changing the world.
it's time for the final boss. Get this. Well, this is something, alright? And there's one thing I don't like about this battle, is the music. Oh yeah, you're fully healed? Huh. I was wrong. I did not think you were fully healed. Alright, gets us here. The leader of Team Plasma all along. Pulling in and pulling the strings. Pulling, using N. Using pretty much everybody. All this time. Here he is. The final fight. He starts out with Copagrigus with the ability Mummy as Protect, Set of All, Psychic, and Toxic. I'm just gonna go for. Fusion Player seems pretty good actually. I'm not gonna lie about that. Oh, he's gonna go for the Toxic. That I probably should have seen coming, but oh well. There was really nothing I could do about it. I was expecting, I was expecting exactly that kind of move. Ah, you're kind of bullshit. You know it. Oh, great. He's one of those toxic stall guys. Fun. The worst part is I'm badly poisoned, which you can actually tell by uh, the name being all kind of purplish. No, in retrospect, I'm thinking about this right now. I think I've said retrospect a lot in this <laughs> episode. The gets us the final boss. Isn't it actually that bad now that I'm actually listening to it? I just remember it being a lot worse, a lot an a more anticlimactic in the sense that, well, it didn't really sound like music. But, no, yeah, I'm listening to it now. It's not bad, huh? I don't know, I guess changing my mind at the last second apparently. And then of course it's using toxic. You not poison? You uh attack? Uh let's go for a dragon breath. Kinda mix things up a bit. And of course you're protecting. Of course. Yeah, that toxic to hurt. But hopefully this stab dragon ram can kill him. But if not, oh, uh, we can always try something else, and that's not gonna kill me. No, it's not. I'm surprised like he got me red. To be fair. Also, gets this this fight. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is a hard fight in general. Not just because of well, he's a surprise final boss. But he has a pretty brutal team. I mean, we're not seeing it right now. All we're seeing is Cockagrigus. And we fought a Cockagrigus this war with the Elite Four members. And Cockagrigus, not that bad. And I'm surprised he'll use one of his full restores here. He's, his AI, I guess. His AI isn't, like, as forgiving with using the full restores and spamming them all on one Pokemon. But as we're going to see later, his team is just. Ugh. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Buffle. Buffle, Buffalent, Buffalent. If there is any Pokemon names I cannot pronounce, it is all the fifth gen Pokemon names. Level 52 with the ability Reckless has the attacks Head Charge, Wild Charge, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. You know, we'll switch out Restoram. We'll switch him out with. Uh... I can't really think of a really good counter axe because I don't have a Fighting type, so. I guess you're still in this rest room. Let's just kill him off, hopefully, with a fusion flare. But if not, oh well. That's gonna kill me, isn't it? No, it is not. Alright, let's... Let's heal. I also, this fight feels semi anti climactic when you get into the red, because, like, it ruins the atmosphere. I kinda wish for this one fight they disabled that, because, you know... It's very anticlimactic just to hear that while you're fighting against us here. Alright. Go for a dragon breath, and that will pretty much finish him off. And it does not. Oh, damn. That head charge surprisingly didn't finish him. Oh, and killed himself in recoil. Beautiful. Size. Since. 
Sisme Toad? Sisme Toad? Sisme Toad? One or the other. It's a, it's at level 52. Water Ground has the ability to swim swim. Muddy Water, Sludge Wave, Earthquake, and Rain Dance. Wow, it's actually gonna use a swim swim. That's kind of crazy, actually. Alright, let's go into... Terror there. And there it is. Seismic Toad. Um... I'm not really too afraid of it. It's probably gonna use the Raid Dance. So I'm just gonna go for the Coil. So next turn I can definitely one-shot it. Unless it goes for Sludge Wave. It probably will go for Sludge Wave. Okay, I went for Sludge Wave. Well, Oh well. It didn't kill me. None of it, it didn't even poison me. So that's great. I can just kill him with the Leaf Wave right there. Because he's four times weak to it. I got my attack set up by one. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, 53. Damn. Hi, Dragon! I actually don't want to say this one. <laughs> Dark Dragon with the ability Levitate. As Dragon Pulse, Surf, Fire Blast, and Focus Blast as its moves. You bet I am switching into Restaurant Ram. Actually, no, he's kind of low. Oh, wait. Yes, yeah, we'll switch into Restaurant Ram. He is low, but it is worth it to kill out his Hydreigon. Now, his Hydreigon is very interesting. It is level 54, as you can see here. Now, why is this interesting? Well, because he fucking hacks. It's an illegal Hydreigon. And when you try to, when you, what do I mean by that? Well, if we uh, look up Hydreigon, it doesn't evolve at level 54. Matter of fact, Hydreigon doesn't evolve until 64. So he has a low level Hydreigon on his team and he just gets away with it. That's so rude. Anyways, we're just gonna Dragon Breath him. Or he gets priority and he kills me. You know what, I tried. I really did. Now you say Hydreigon is probably the most devastating Pokemon. Hydreigon is a monster, like, ugh. Matter of fact, what is his special attack stat? I need to know this now. Um, I'm gonna go with Ice Speed there. Oh, I avoided the attack, that actually might kill him now. No. I wouldn't be surprised if he used the Hyper Potion on it. No? I'm surprised he's not using his full restores. Also, I can't believe I said Hyper Potion before. My Dragon has a special attack stat of 125. Not as devastating as Sekram or Restorams, but still, it is... It is something to fear. Alright, it's next Pokemon. Bisharp! Dark Steel, we've seen this guy before, has the ability to fight. Night Slash, X Scissor, Stone Edge, and Metal Burst are its moves. If Restoram was still alive, he would be a good counter for it. But you know what? Charm will work, because uh, Charmed has a uh, Fire Charge. That'll work well against him. Alright. I'm surprised you said that Hydreigon's so early. That's usually like his first Pokemon. I mean, not his first, his last Pokemon he sends out, no matter what. I mean, it makes sense because he had, uh, he's going for a type advantage, but still. I don't know, at least in my experience, what I've seen of other people's Let's Plays and other people's, well, just playing this game in general. He usually sends it out last, because it is his most powerful Pokemon, but... Ha! Ah, whatever. I might want to heal here. Or that will kill me. Let's see what happened first. I died! Alright, let's send out... Hmm. Ryan. He... I can use a Bulldoze on him. That's what I'm going to do. So he use a Stealth Rock? Ah, there's no point. He only has one Pokemon left, and it's not even weak to Stealth Rock. And he's using Metal Burst. Ugh, yikes. I'm surprised I did not do more damage. I'm surprised I didn't make my Sturdy activate. But hey, whatever works. Oh, 51. Nice, Roin. His last Pokemon, Electros. Pure, pure electric type with the ability levitate, so basically he has no weakness. As the attacks crunch, wild charge, flamethrower, and acrobatics. Well, let's just go into Terra. 
Oh wait, he has Slave Door and Acrobatics. And he has no health item. I'm gonna get wrecked. Never mind. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go for broke. We might as well. Oh my god. I thought I one shot him there for a second. I thought I one shot at him. He's gonna heal this turn. And you know what? I don't care. He's an elite seed. No, he didn't. He didn't heal. Are you kidding me? He did not heal. I could have killed him, but I didn't. And you know what? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna send out. You know, Kujo, you can you can win. Here, Kujo. Kujo wins by doing nothing. Oh no, no. What the fuck? Okay, fine. You know what? I'll, I'll fight. Shadow Ball. Might as well. I thought he was gonna win by doing nothing, but you know what? He didn't. And there it is. That's gets us. My cloud place is no, my careful schemes. Everything is ruined for you, gets us. I'm sorry to tell you that. But it's true. You're done. Goodbye. That's it. Pokemon Black version. Holy shit. That ending. That... That's something else, you know? Compared to any other ending, even currently with X and Y, that doesn't beat it. I mean, X and Y's ending is kind of... is kind of a little bit tear-jerking, but, uh, no. This... This is something else. I, I can't believe it's over. Holy shit, it's over. I mean, I remember starting this back up in June. Or was it July even? I'm looking this up now. I think it was July. I was excited. I really was. 
this is probably one of my favorite Pokemon games ever to be created. It still is. It still is up there. There's nothing that has surpassed it. You know, beforehand, I never really gave a shit about the Pokemon games. Because, I mean, I did, but not in the sense of story, because the story was kind of like nonsensical, just kind of there to be there. And I bet a lot of people feel the same. But then Black and White came out, and then but this happened, and it's just, oh my god, it's crazy so crazy. I never, when I first beat it, I fell in love with it. I literally marathoned this game and I stayed up until midnight. I, I remembered. Like, I literally beat this game with, the, like, the stroke of midnight. It was just kind of like, wow. What an experience. And it still is. It just, like, I could replay this game non-stop. It's just so good. July 19th, 2014 is when I uploaded the first episode. I don't know um, when I recorded it. But that's at least when I uploaded it. And holy shit, I remember getting the DS capture card. I was so excited. Now, I mainly got the DS capture card to do another Let's Play. Which I still... I still want to do that game. I think it's kind of obvious what game it is. But, um... I'm not going to say just the case. But I, I still have to think about how am I going to do that game. Because it's... It's complicated. Oh my god. Wolf on Blackbird is a developed by Game Freak. What a game, you know? What a game. Let me get this last scene of and flying off with Legendary. Honestly, this made me really excited for the sequels, but sadly, it doesn't really explore too much in the sequels. Kinda is, but not as much. Which sucks, but whatever. Still kinda wish there was a game where you can play as Zen. I kind of still wish Ed was... I want to... I wish Ed was a reoccurring character in the games. I really wish he was, because they're like... I like to do... Like to do with Looker. Because Looker is kind of reoccurring. But Ed isn't. And it makes me sad. That's it. We can watch the opening cutscene again. But it's over. Pokemon Black? It's over. It's done. There are more stuff to do, however, just like in every Pokemon game, there is a post-game, which we'll be covering eventually. I mean, I'm not really 100% sure when. You know what, just for the hell of it, let's just watch the first cutscene in the game. This, like, I remember posting this as a teaser. Holy shit. Here it is again. <laughs> Going full circle, full loop. Oh my god. I remember just seeing this cutscene when I booted up the game for the first time and I just thought it was the craziest thing. You know, I still think it's so crazy. Just so, so dramatically different than anything we've ever seen before. I think one of the things I really don't like is that you can see in the cutscene there's the two... We met them earlier, like the two, like, when we met, like, kind of took care of and We never really get to see them. They're, like, important characters in the sense they have names and they look different, but we never really, they never really get developed, which is kind of sad. Oh well. Anyways, that was Pokemon Black version. Holy shit! <laughs> I I still can't get over that, guys. I I still can't get over this. I'm just gonna press start. So the next time in Pokemon Black, well, we'll start the post game. That's really all I gotta say. <laughs> so until then, I'm Gavin, I'm a Zorwark Wizard, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.